My name is Asim Tanantume and I'm the research and evaluation lead for Neopenda and I'm based in Kampala, Uganda. Uh, Neopenda is a medical device social enterprise and we create innovative health solutions for patients in low resource settings. Our first product is a wireless vital signs monitor uh, for newborns like my friend Natasha. Um, it continuously measures temperature, oxygen saturation, respiratory rate and pulse rate. We are trying to evaluate the clinical impact and cost effectiveness of the NeoGuard product. This is a product we introduced in the market in Kenya a, a little over a year ago. So we're looking at whether this monitor will help the clinicians and nurses effectively care for the patients. Uh, we're trying to see if it can help reduce the um, complication rates, help um, them in their clinical decision making and overall just help reduce the morbidity and mortality that is faced by neonates in places like Kenya. Kenya has one of the highest neonatal mortality rates in the world at around 19 uh, deaths per 1,000 children and we have a sustainable development goal of getting all low and middle income countries to a rate of around 12 or fewer newborn deaths per 1,000 live births and so we're hoping that our product could help contribute to that change. Roughly 2.4 million newborns die each year and 99% of these deaths happen in low and middle income countries. And these deaths often result from preventable causes, things like uh, birth asphyxia, things like uh, pneumonia, uh, infections, and um, all these uh, have effective interventions. Sometimes the deterioration goes unnoticed for a long time, and by the time the nurse or the doctor is able to intervene, it could be too late. So we are trying to make sure that if the interventions are available, all the nurses need is the information to know that this patient is deteriorating or this patient is at risk of deteriorating. And we're hoping that the Vital Science Monitor could be the first step in giving them that information. We received the Grand Challenges grant really at the early stage of entering the Kenyan market. So at that point, we hadn't even attracted any customers and we really just wanted to get the product out there. So what the Grand Challenges grant allowed us to do, it allowed us to manufacture enough devices um, to implement in um, a Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital. Um, as a newcomer on the market, it's really hard to get your first customers, to have people just trust this novel solution and believe that it's going to work. But when you have a grant, sometimes you're in a position where you're able to offer this product to users and through offering it and through assessing and evaluating it, you're able to uh, create that market traction. But often, uh, we receive products that have been fully researched and developed in foreign countries. So I like that uh, with Neopenda's model, um, you're, we're creating homegrown solutions. We're creating products for the African market and they're being tested and evaluated in the African market with African users. One of the things that uh, innovators in Africa face, one of the challenges they face is they often don't have access to the funding and resources they need to develop the solutions that they know that the market requires. And they have so much local context and knowledge about the specific issues that we're facing that if they wanted to create a product, they would do a much better job than the uh, traditional innovators out there who are typically well-funded like in Silicon Valley. So I think institutions like SFA can really help uh, lend these innovators a hand by providing them access to those resources which will help them develop better and more competitive products than are currently on the market.